see that on the screen right there, ladies and gentlemen. Fortnite creative mode. Now, I've had the privilege to play with this creative mode for the last three to four days. Get used to it so I can make this video for you guys, which is actually how this mode is going to be announced with a bunch of creators that have been flown out for this event. So let's jump right into it, shall we? Alrighty then, welcome to the Fortnite creative lobby screen. Very similar to Battle Royale, but uh, there's a lot of awesome features. The way this is all set up, I can't wait to just show you everything. So I believe the plan for creative mode is that tomorrow we'll actually see the release of creative mode itself. Uh, we actually get an exclusive sneak peek with this video here to see everything that's in it. And of course, a big thank you to Epic Games for, you know, flying us out and showing this awesome stuff. The team behind it have done an amazing job. I got to meet all of the devs that worked on it, all amazing people. And I really think this is going to be just as successful, if not more than Battle Royale itself. Very exciting stuff. Let's get into it, shall we? So first things first, when you hit up play, it's going to come up with an option to join other friend servers. I'm obviously just going to go ahead and create a new one for you guys to show today and you can change the settings as well so friends of friends can also join my own server right now so welcome to the fortnite creative lobby this is where you start off every individual time you load up fortnite creative you put here in this lobby so as you can see from a glance we've got a bunch of rocks around us with some rifts in them uh, of course the one over there the gold rift that's going to be my server and i believe the plan for these featured ones at the front are for maps that are trendy have a certain game mode just you know think minecraft but Fortnite, awesome maps. But currently right now, there is nothing featured in either of those. So we're gonna go over to my island. So as you approach your own rift, you're greeted with an interact option. Essentially, you can choose one of four islands. They're like four different saves, I guess you can kind of say, that you can have tied to your account at any time. Today, we're gonna be playing on island two. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Fortnite creative server. Uh, first things first though, make sure to use code lock in store. First thing I built, actual facts. Now, as you can see, they got some nice little glow to them as well. But anyway, welcome to the rest of the world. We've got a lot to go through. And at first, you're probably hit with a bunch of things off the bat. You can see on the left there, double tap to fly. That's right, we got fly mode in Fortnite Creative. Obviously makes sense. You're trying to build a map, you need to fly. It's great. Next thing up that you probably noticed, we've got a phone in our hotbar. Uh, it's like that one with the emote, but like it actually now does something so if i go ahead and select current tiles you see that it has a grid option and if i was to say right click i could pick up that option and move it around to say over i don't know here like that i've just moved a piece of concrete i can also copy it with a left mouse button so that it doesn't get rid of the original piece and that's pretty much what the phone will do you can also press x while holding it out and you can delete whatever you've put down already so this thing here is just a couple of uh little things i've thrown down so the next thing up that you probably notice down the bottom is a memory used bar essentially if that gets to the end you won't be able to place blocks and stuff like that this is just to make sure your server doesn't crash however if you want to see what happens if you max that bar uh make sure to check back later today on the channel or tomorrow i'm not sure when i'm going to upload it uh but essentially we tried to break fortnite creative mode and it was a lot of fun and of course it goes without saying if you guys go on to enjoy today's video or already enjoyed it are excited for fortnite creative make sure to chuck us a like rating down below and of course subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be doing a lot more fortnite creative content on this channel for sure and so next up if we open up our inventory we're greeted with this creative menu and uh, we have a lot of thing called prefabs and they're essentially pre-built structures from either the game or from fortnite creative mode itself that you can use as kind of like a tool to pick from and use for your current build so for example we've got a couple of obstacle courses here that you can just use for fun and then from that we've got parts of towns that you can use as buildings so as you can see we got things from lucky landing here things from tilted towers here uh can i get a f in the chat for my factories out there boys that's right there's factories in here we got the club from yonder we got you know the modern houses all the stuff from pleasant park stuff like that retail row the shops and as we scroll down the list we move over to some prop items so things from the game that you know you can destroy for mats and stuff like that trees for example signs cars all that kind of stuff and then we've got this here which is actually new to creative it's a cube gallery and essentially it's just a bunch of blocks that have different colors and some have effects you saw it on my code lock sign just before and yeah just to give you a quick scroll through of every option available what you can take and uh, i'm going to show you just exactly how these things work in just a second all right so let's say we want to get some of these cubes out we want to get some of these trees out we equip both of them and it adds it to our inventory oh, the sun's going out so after it puts it into your inventory you can select it with your keybind and it will pull out a portal for it oh wow i wonder where we had that from yeah so think of those mini game portal forts that we had in playground right now essentially every pre prefab is represented with a port afford and you throw it and it gives you a little preview of what you're going to throw or at least the dimensions of what it's going to throw and then that's what we've got a little cube selecting thing now at the current time we've got two animated cubes uh, a light cube uh, three light cubes actually some base colors to work with and some reflective colors 
That's kind of cool, actually. Didn't notice that. Now, these cubes are interesting because they are technically a prop. They don't apply to the normal kind of rules that uh, other builds apply to. Like, say, for stairs, for example, it's very one by one. It has to fit in that one by one. Props are different. They're like trees, all that kind of stuff. You can pick them up. And you just chuck it down there in the middle. It's not it's not restricted to that one by one, you know, kind of format. And you can do a whole lot with this phone and some props. I'll tell you that much. Hey, you can have a look at the left for all the controls. You can do F to push it away from you. C to pull it in closer. Uh, you can actually rotate the piece. Uh, so you can rotate it all three ways. So clockwise, counterclockwise in either your pitch or roll. It's X, Y, Z values, of course, just like that. And every time you hit tab, it shows you what you've done. And you can also reset the rotation by holding tab and you'll go back to normal. And with the combination of the rotation tool, you can pull off some really cool kind of stuff. You can spam it. You can put it inside of each other, make some cool new objects that way. Um, it's interesting. Uh, you can also make it not apply to gravity as well. If you press G, it'll just hang there in the air. Lots of cool stuff can be done just with those properties there. You can make cool parkour maps, hide and seek maps. I can't wait to see what the community does with this Fortnite creative mode. And I can't wait to play the maps. It's going to be an amazing experience. I'm telling you now. And we're definitely not done just there. You can also snap it to a grid. So say if you wanted to make sure that you had these perfectly in place next to each other, you can grid snap it and it will show you the grid number of what it's doing. So right now it's doing 16, 8, 4, 2. So it just, it's just kind of like a spacing method that you can do. Just so you can keep the blocks nice and flush with each other so you don't have any gaps or anything. Man, that is a really bright block. Moths would love that one. So let's show you how this rotation can be used with props that you already know in games. Let's turn grid snap off and uh, let's just rotate it a bunch and just drop one off there. You can just make a thousand cars. Like the possibilities are endless. And I know all I did was just rotate a car and spam it 10 times, but I'm not that creative of a person. We've made some awesome maps this weekend, some which you'll see uh, through the channel or through some trailer promotions that Epic has done. Uh, we had a sick time here at the HQ making some maps. We spent about eight hours each day making maps for about four days. Probably some of the most fun I've had playing Fortnite this year. So Fortnite Creative, of course, we've got a few more traps than the regular game mode. Uh, we've got a lot of things you would have seen in the playground feature as well. I, the first thing first is a respawn pad. You would have seen that in playground already. Essentially, if you walk over it, it becomes a spawn pad and you can customize it with options. Pretty much when you go to start a game mode, you have some team options here and you can do a bunch of stuff with it. It's pretty cool and so if i'm to respawn right now i will always respawn right here at my uh respawn pad so next up we got some spawning pads for vehicles so this is a shopping cart spawn pad and this is a quad crasher spawn card uh whenever you destroy them it will respawn a new cart of that type also there's damage numbers now for carts apparently and uh there we go you get a new cart every time it disappears so next up we have some damage traps uh these are new kind of traps that whenever you hit them they'll bounce you back a little bit and take five hp away from you there's nothing to penalize the player for running a certain way or even trying to run a certain way. Next up, we have these ice block traps. And uh, essentially, they're kind of like the ice traps, but you only have it for like a couple seconds. So you're like, you'll slide through it and you'll slide for a couple seconds like that. I don't, I don't know if you saw that. It's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, you slide for a little bit. And you can really tell when you use it in combination with these new speed pads. And uh, these are a little speed boost thing very self-explanatory you can also customize them for the speed so you can give it a low medium or a high speed and if i was to do it on this ice for example you see how i just slid all the way off there kind of you know combines that whole thing but it doesn't give you permanently ice feet for 30 seconds or whatever it gives it for so it's like a nice little way of using that mechanic without having to have it forever next up we got this little scoreboard thing uh, essentially if you jump on the pad uh, you can add a point uh, for one thing. I actually really like this for things like dodgeball, you know, trap ball, stuff like that. You can go on and be like, oh, I got my goal. Okay, cool. Chuck it on. And if memory serves to be correct, you press the middle one and uh, deletes the score. You probably don't want to get a big score and then accidentally hit the middle one, though. Pretty cool indeed. Uh, and then next up, we've got this kind of timer. So you can customize it, of course, and it'll pretty much display a timer and play a sound when the timer is complete. Then you go all the way from 20 minutes to one minute. So if I put it on for a minute, hit that, it's not going to stop the timer. And I don't actually know how loud it is, so we'll keep that running in the back while I explain some more features. So moving back into our inventory, we've got the weapons sheet, and it's pretty much every weapon in the game. It doesn't have everything, though. Like, it doesn't have C4 and a few vaulted items. It doesn't have revolvers. Not to be mistaken with these revolvers, the ones that are actually half decent at the video game. Also, don't worry. There is no drum gun here either. Oh! And that's the noise it makes. So essentially, you can go ahead and equip it, or you can add to a chest, which I'll show you in just a second. It'll add it to your inventory, and yeah, you can spawn ammo as well on the consumable page. All types of ammo, all types of grenades, 
all that cool stuff you see on screen. Again, no C4. And then last but not least, we got the chest feature. So like I showed you before, if I go to weapon or a consumable, I go add to chest. I hit the chest right here and I go create chest. It'll put one in game. You can, of course, pick it up, move it around, all that cool stuff. Place it wherever you want. You can make it float if you want. Uh, all that stuff. Search the chest and guess what comes out? The item you put in. This is going to make some awesome game modes. What I personally love to see from the devs is maybe a way to maybe get that to be a random thing every time because I think that could inspire some game modes. <laughs> Lucky block. Anyway, moving on. I've also got the option to create a llama as well. So essentially, it's just going to spawn a llama. We can open it up and it's, it's the same thing. It's a chest, but it's a llama. And I think as of right now, currently... Oh, you actually can pick up the llama now. You couldn't do that yesterday. And of course, it goes without saying this is in progress. This may not be the final version that actually sees it tomorrow. Uh, because this would be like a week old technically so we'll see how we go look how many friends i have i have a lot of friends <laughs> if you make your way over to this part of the island it's essentially just a rift to get back to the hub also importantly you've got your escape menu which has your island settings so these are things that you can set uh game modes teams time limits spawn locations all that stuff so you can have people spawn from the sky their team pads their spawn pads all that stuff uh free for all deathmatch free play game mode options for now teams and the time limit that it can go for uh, up to a 20 a maximum of no time limit and then one minute start and so i've just hit start the mini game and it's going to reset everyone and put them somewhere in the map wherever the i selected the sky uh, just mainly so i can show off my code one more time don't forget that's code blocky in the item stop so i say stop because i meant shop and so because the game mode started it's cleared my access to play creative i guess you could say and i have to wait until the 20 seconds is up this is when you'd like you know do your game mode and then when the time's up it'll reset it save your world reset any damage done to your world like for instance if i was to go ahead completely destroy these llamas here these innocent llamas who definitely didn't deserve that uh, they'll come back in four seconds. There we go, because I think it was a death match, so eliminations, deaths, all that kind of stuff. That's my name at the top left. It's, it's like a dev build account. And then it fully resets the island and puts it back to the state before the minigame was started. Uh, so for example, a game mode I made the other day was one where we shot the start and we had to try and outrun the platforms that were disappearing. And uh, this allowed us to, you know, reset, make some cool mechanics and have like a really cool race. And that's just an example of how you can really use creative mode to make some game modes you really couldn't before. I mean, you couldn't playground, but you'd have to spend so many hours building it because you can only play it once and then you're done. And then also on your island settings, you've got things like health settings, stuff you've seen in playground mode before, options for the teams and such. Uh, so one of the new ones is pickaxe building damage. I can turn it on for instant and essentially what will happen is anything I touch will disappear if it can be touched. So these llamas, goodbye cool i don't know once again i think that can open up a little bit of opportunities there and i think that's what the developers shooting for is to allow as many possible creations game modes whatever to be made and i think they've done a pretty good job at it and so you can even put down for not out options stuff like that and then island tools as well so you can give permissions for players to actually edit you can say all right only i can edit it or you know people that join they can edit it as well be careful with this because i can already see people doing like griefing fortnite server videos like they did for minecraft and yeah, it's going to be pretty mean. And then also you've got this option here to reset your island completely. And that will just obviously wipe the whole island and leave like the base island there. Which say goodbye to our code Loki because he's no longer going to be here anymore. I'm going to show you what that looks like just now. Reset island. Goodbye code Loki. It's going to just wipe the whole thing. You can see what it looks like when you first log into a world. And this is it. This is what it looks like. Just a barren island with a few trees and rocks and... For some reason a shack i don't really know why there's a shack there but there's a shack there so last but not least before we end this off right here i want to show you one of the obstacle courses they have you would have seen them if you played playground mode but the resources they've used to make the assets look way better and a lot of these are really good for making maps as well uh, a lot of people like to use i think this prefab which has all of the uh base kind of you know construction pieces used so yeah, a lot of people would take pieces from this and use it in their build they look nice and so here's an example of one of the obstacle courses which i guess you need to jump when you do it yeah you need to jump when you do it otherwise it doesn't work damn and uh, that's a oh 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 uh, got it and done 
I'm so good at this game. What can I say? And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all we've got time for today. Uh, I hope you guys went on to enjoy this demonstration of Fortnite creative mode. When it comes out tomorrow, make sure to tweet me. I want to see whatever you guys make. And of course, hopefully we can work together and making some maps. I myself am very interested to see what the community makes. I would love to feature it on my channel if it, you know, is quality content. I think it's going to be something awesome for the Fortnite community. Again, thank you all for watching. If you want to come back later today, we're going to have another Fortnite creative video with some custom game modes that you guys can see. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you have an awesome day. Peace.